Number 57, radiation makes it impossible to stand close to hot lava flow. Calculate the rate of heat transfer by radiation from 1 meter square of 1200 degrees Celsius fresh lava into 30 degrees Celsius surroundings, assuming the llama's a uh, llama. <laughs> assuming the llama, I'm, I'm reading too many children's books. Llama, llama, red pajama, weeping, wailing for his mama. Oh boy. Okay. It's, it, it's, a, you know, it's sad when I'm memorizing children's books. Okay. So assuming uh, la, lavas, I almost did it again. Lavas emissivity is one. All right. So anytime they're talking about radiation, you want to think of these two formulas right here. Biggest key I can give you, only Kelvin temperatures go into these bad boys. All right, I explained in number 55, so check that out. Um, so essentially, we're talking about the net. It doesn't say net in the problem, but we're talking about the rate of heat transfer, and we have two temperatures, and we're talking about radiation, so that falls into this category. All right, so we're basically talking about the net uh, rate of heat transfer. Remember, rate I've been doing in terms of uh, power, which is a watt, which is the same thing as joule per second. They're all the same. So this is equal to the Stefan Boltzmann constant, which is a value you're going to have to memorize or you might be given it, I'm not sure, multiplied by the emissivity of the object, multiplied by the area over which uh, radiation is occurring, multiplied then by the temperature differential between the two. All right. Don't worry about the signage in here, what you should plug in first or second or whatever. Just know that, you know, the hotter object is losing energy at a certain rate and the colder object is gaining the heat at a certain rate. So that would determine whether it's plus or minus. Okay. Uh, so it's just saying calculate the rate of heat transfer. So I'm just going to give you the positive or the magnet or the uh, just the magnitude of the answer. All right. So the net here is going to be the Stefan Boltzmann constant. That's going to be 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8. All right. The emissivity they said of the lava is 1. The area they told us is 1 square meter. This is fantastic. And now you can only plug in the Kelvin temperatures. So take the 1200 degrees Celsius and add 273 to it. And that's uh, 1473. 1473 raised to the fourth minus then 30 degrees Celsius. So convert that into Kelvin. That's 303 and that's raised to the fourth. And voila, all we need to do is now calculate. Great, right? 5.67 times 10 to the minus eight times then parenthesis, basically 1473 raised to the fourth minus then 303 raised to the fourth. And hopefully that calculated, I missed the parenthesis, but this answer sounds reasonable. Um, so this works out to be about 2.66, 2.66 times 10 raised to the fifth. Okay. And that is in Watts. So that's a, uh, that's a large amount of heat being transferred. Okay. Per second. So anyway, okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe and we will see you next time. Take care.